You took my baby. Ooh, stay tuned. God bless you, friends. Thank you for joining me on Morning Nuggets on this Tuesday morning. I pray that everyone had a great Memorial Day. And I pray that this video finds you exceptionally well. This is my absolute pleasure every time I come and speak with you. If you've been watching the channel and you have not subscribed yet, don't hesitate. Don't contemplate anymore. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. I promise you, you will not regret it. We'd be glad to have you part of the Smart Family. And I want to just thank all of you content creators who are helping Pastor Nate and sharing the video. May God's blessings be upon you. You took my baby. Ooh. Who are you talking about, Pastor Nate? We're talking about Michelle Loud. I believe that's the name of the actual parent. And Mrs. Cora Jakes. Miss Cora Jakes is the daughter of T.D. Jakes and Sarita Jakes. Miss Cora Jakes or Pastor Cora Jakes is a preacher, teacher of God's word. But in this situation, she was accused, allegedly, of manipulation in terms of taking Michelle's son. When I thought about this situation, friend, I thought of the Bible story in 1 Kings, the third chapter. When there was woman A and there was woman B. Both women had a child. Woman B child died. So woman B switched her dead child with the living child of woman A. And I won't go through the whole story. I want you to do your homework and read the rest of that chapter. But my point is, woman B took woman's A child. That's the closest thing I could come to in scripture related to this situation going on with Pastor Cora and Mrs. Michelle. Of course, there are details of the story that are very different because the way the child was taken in the Bible story was different from the way the child was taken in this actual situation between Michelle and Mrs. Cora. There's a lot of talk out there on the YouTube street that Pastor Cora manipulated Michelle into signing over Michelle's child to Pastor Cora. I'm going to let you hear a clip of what Michelle said, a very small clip. Michelle was uh, depressed if you listen to her entire video. Michelle just came out of a bad relationship. She was pregnant uh, with another child. She just wasn't in a good place. She wasn't in a good headspace. And from the tone of Michelle's uh, projection, Pastor Cora was there to help her through those times. Uh, maybe help with the child until she get to Michelle gets herself together. But it didn't turn out that way. The child, to my understanding, was actually signed over. And it is believed that Miss Cora used a manipulation tactic to get the child. Take a listen. I was homeless. Um... I was leaving a four or five year relationship. I had three kids already and I was pregnant with my fourth born Jason. Um, when we got reacquainted, she told me that she'll be there to help me. You know, she told me that she was only there to help me. After I had Jason, it was just like, I was just set up from the beginning. She was not there to help me. She was actually there to take my child. 
And she did everything that she could to get what she wanted. Her and her husband. From constantly telling me that I didn't have myself for myself. To backing me in a corner in her office at her home. When they stayed in Grand Perry. Her and her husband, Brandon. And telling me that if I did not give my son to them, that they would take him from me. Making me feel like I was inadequate to take her of one child, although I already had three kids. Making it seem like she was there to help me. But the whole time she was plenty, planning and conniving to take my son, Jason. So from her side because we haven't heard pastor Corey yet, so I, I can't just completely say oh pastor Corey was wrong should pastor Corey give the child back now assuming michelle got herself together and is able to raise the child what's best for the child let me know your thoughts in the comments section i don't even know if michelle's life back up the part where she can take care of the child after all she had children before who was taking care of the children before when Michelle wasn't in a good place? Was it family members? Are all the children back together now? Those are questions that need to be asked. Those are the questions that need to be addressed. So we can't just say Miss Cora was wrong for that. If it were manipulation and control, it, it was wrong. But I'm not sure if it were that or not. I mean, I could look at that situation and say Mrs. Cora Jakes was there during the time Michelle was going through her situation. Maybe Michelle was so out of it that she agreed to sign the child over. Maybe the agreement was, right now I'll take care of the child until you get yourself together and I give the child back to you when you're in a good spot. I don't know. So that's why we can't just take sides and say Cora was wrong or Michelle was wrong because we're just hearing one side. We need to hear both sides and get the facts. But tell me what you think regarding this situation. Do you feel like it was manipulation? It may be too soon to judge that right now. Do you feel like the child should go back to the mom? I think every child should be with his mother, assuming mothers are in a good place to take care of the child. I've known some mothers that weren't fit during the time to be a mother because you know, of drugs and being addicted to this and that and the third. And it was not good to put that child in that situation. I don't know. Leave your comments in the comment section. All I know is it's a messy situation, but it's not too messy where God cannot clean it up. Friend, thank you for joining me this morning. I pray that this exhortation blessed you. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces. Till next time.